through the phone. Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you're doing good. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a tutorial, kind of? Not really. Yeah, this is a bit of an odd one. It's sort of a tutorial in the sense that I am going to teach you the methods of the trick you saw in the intro, but it's also kind of not. I want to give you an insight into my creative process of how I come up with magic tricks, specifically the one that you just saw, the Sharpie melting through the phone, which is an effect I have wanted to accomplish for so long and I still feel like there's work to be done on it. Which you might be saying, well, why am I making a video about a trick that is kind of a work in progress? And the answer is because it's a work in progress. I wanna show you that sometimes you get to a point with a trick where you're not sure where to go next. I think this is gonna be really helpful for those of you that are creating your own magic or who want to create your own magic. You've never done it before, but you wanna give it a go. I think, I think it's important to share this process on camera and just kind of talk it out. I am I'm being driven mad by this idea. Over the past few hours, I have just relentlessly non-stop been working on this trick to the point where my head feels like it's gonna explode. I'm sure a lot of you will have been there when you just practice and practice something and you just work on the same thing. It drives you mad. It is not a good feeling. And I am at that point with Sharpie through phone. <laughs> Watching that performance, I don't know if you'll be fooled. That's, that's the honest truth of it. I don't know if you'll be fooled by the performance. I hope you are. But at the same time, it's also one of those effects where it kind of doesn't matter if you're not fooled or not. It's just to appreciate the method. When I imagined doing this effect, I thought that it was so easy to do. And when it came to actually doing it, well, yeah, it wasn't. I was completely wrong. It is ridiculously difficult to make this look good on camera. And I'm gonna give you the explanation. The short version of the explanation is right here. There was no Sharpie. It was a video on my phone. Even that in itself is a bit of a lie. There was part of a Sharpie. The cap was the only part that was real. And when you line these two things up together, you complete the image of a Sharpie. It sounds really easy on paper, doesn't it? I mean, in principle, that should work seamlessly and be really, really easy. But to make that look convincing is, as I found today, almost impossible. The takes I'm showing in the performance and in the intro, they're, they're pretty much the only good takes. And even then, when you watch them a hundred times, yeah, you can tell there's something off about that Sharpie. It doesn't look right. There's something not right about it, but you just can't put your finger on exactly what it is. Is it something to do with the light? Is it something to do with the shape? Is it the perspective? What exactly is going on? Well, I'm going to break down my creative process and how I came up with this. And I urge you to stick around because there are some interesting things that if you want to perform this trick and if you want to improve it and, and take the baton and run with it, or take the Sharpie and run with it, uh, then you're gonna need to know some of these things to sort of save a lot of time. First thing to know is that I tried a lot of different methods before I settled on this one. I was fairly certain that I wanted to do something along these lines, but I wasn't sure to what extent. Originally, the entire Sharpie, including the cap, was going to be digital, and the whole thing was going to melt into the phone, leaving me with empty hands. But as it turns out, it's very difficult to look like you're holding an object that you're not really holding. Like, if the entire thing is digital, that's very difficult to do. So I knew I had to have something in the physical world to connect it to reality and make it feel 3D. And I think having the Sharpie cap as an actual object is really what sells this trick. If anything is selling it, I think it's absolutely the Sharpie cap. The second thing to think about is the perspective of the phone. This is obviously a 2D image on a 3D object that will be shown on a 2D video in a 3D plane with a 3D object that needs to line up with itself perfectly. It's a nightmare and I spent so long on my video editor literally tilting my laptop and squinting and closing one eye to just see if the Sharpie looked right. It took hours before the Sharpie was in any way the right size and in the end it actually is fairly close to a Sharpie size, it's a bit wider and a bit shorter. And that is so that when you tilt the screen, it looks like it's going the other way. This was such a difficult thing for me to get my head around that the screen is angled one way, but the Sharpie is angled another in the pretend reality of the trick. 
you can see why I was confused. Even with all of the maths and the angles worked out, it was again another impossible mission to know exactly how to hold the cap so that it looked like the Sharpie was in the right position. As you can see, sometimes I messed up and they weren't aligned at all. And then there's the extra additional problem of the fact that this Sharpie video moves and I have to time my movements with the movement of the screen. All of these things meant that this trick was very difficult. <laughs> Probably the most difficult trick I've ever performed, which is a statement and, <laughs> and it still doesn't look good. <laughs> I mean, it looks fine. It looks okay. And I'm sure some of you are going to be very supportive in the comments. And for that, I thank you. Uh, others of you, I'm sure, are going to ridicule me and say, what is this trick, Kevin? It looks terrible. And both are valid. I, I, I want to hear from you about this because it's so difficult to know. I feel like I've seen this performance video so many times. I don't even know if it's any good anymore. A lot of magicians are like this. A lot of magicians sort of suffer with this, I guess. Maybe suffer is the wrong word, but of like perfectionism, trying to achieve an image you have for a trick. And sometimes you have to admit defeat. Maybe sometimes you just have to leave it a couple of weeks and come back to this idea, which I think is probably what I'm gonna do with this. I've done similar tricks like this before where the props were digital, like this one, for instance, where a piece of card detaches and reattaches itself the entire card there was digital, it's just a phone screen. And that was sort of the inspiration for going down this route where part of the object is digital and part of it is physical. That was a really nice sort of melding of the digital and physical world, which is something that I've tried before, as you can see from this test footage of something I called screen act. It's also drawing from perspective illusions in cinema that I'm absolutely inspired by. I love the sort of magic of filmmaking. This idea of Sharpie through phone was kind of drawing from all of those things and putting it into one small scale illusion for the camera. Coming up with a magic trick is such an unusual thing. You, you're dealing with so many different elements. So there we go. That is it for this video. Again, I'm not entirely sure what this was, just an insight into the creative process of a magician and creating a trick and how how sometimes a trick can be a lot more difficult than it appears on the surface. If you enjoyed this, please do click the thumbs up button down below if you watched to this point of the video. It really does help the channel out. And if you're new to the channel and you're a magician or you want to be a magician, then make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and join the growing channel. Here on the channel, I teach magic, talk about it, react to it, review it, all things to do with magic. So if you like magic, then subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Until then, take care guys. Thank you.